I always tell people that the GRE isn't necessarily a difficult exam, it's a tricky exam. So check out this question. We have two here is less than or equal to the absolute value of n, and absolute value of n is less than or equal to the number five. Now what they want to know here, and again it's a lot of verbiage, but the absolute value of the greatest integer in x. And I should probably add here that x is the set of all integers that satisfy this equation. So x could be three. So if you notice here, three is what? Greater than two, less than five. And negative three is also what? Well, absolute value of negative three is three. So that would also work. So all the numbers that work for n are in the set here of x. So the absolute value of the greatest possible integer of x. So we don't know which integer that is up here, but the greatest po absolute the absolute value of the greatest possible integer. So I'll say absolute value of the greatest. And then in column B, we have the absolute value. There's our absolute value signs of the least. Now, I think a lot of people who get this wrong proceed as follows. They say, oh, there is 2, the number 2. And I can say negative 2. That's as low as I can go because the absolute value of negative 2 is actually 2. And so you go, okay, the absolute value of the least integer, which is negative 2, you put it in here, you get negative 2, absolute value is 2. Greatest value up here is 5, that's a little more straightforward. There's our absolute value is 5, there's 5, and just like that, you get A, you're happy, you definitely got it right, and then all of a sudden, you get it wrong. Why? What's the trick here? What's the trap? Why shouldn't you be so quick here in the draw? Well... Notice here, negative 2, that's, that's a low number, but we're in negative land. So when I go to negative 4, that's even more negative. If I put negative 4 in here, what happens? Oh, it becomes positive 4, which is actually less than 5. So just because 2 is the lowest number here, when I take the negative form of that, that doesn't mean that that's going to be the least number that's going to work here for n. That's going to be part of set x. So what's that least possible number is actually negative 5, because the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. And so if we put our negative 5 up there as our set of x, that is the least possible digit. So we put negative 5 down here, and the absolute value of negative 5 gives us 5, and indeed the answer is actually B, C.